How's it going, dear sulfurs? Today I'm going to show you how you can put the camshaft with your camshaft chain tensioner and all the related gaskets and seals, plus the valve cover gaskets, back on this Audi we're working on here. And as you can see, the parts are piling up here, so it's time to get things done. So in the previous video, we left off where we removed our camshaft on this driver's side, and then we cleaned the surface of this uh, cylinder head with some brake clean and some paper towels. So next, we'll be installing our half moon seal and our camshaft chain tensioner gasket. Now, if you want to know where you can find these seals or gaskets, or in fact, any other tools or products I end up using in this video, I'll put links to where you can find them online down below in the description box. So don't be afraid to click on them and check them out yourself. All right, so before we install our half moon seal, I'm just going to put a very thin layer of uh, black RTV silicone right on this contact surface where our half moon seal goes on top of our cylinder head. Just like that. Then we'll install our half moon seal. All right, so as you can see, the edges of this half moon seal are sticking up from this top end of our cylinder head. So we're gonna put some RTV silicone around these edges as well. You can go a little thicker on these. Next, it's time for our camshaft chain tensioner gasket. And this is gonna go on this way, like this. And once more, I put a very thin layer of uh, RTV silicone on this edge, where it's gonna be facing the inside of our engine. And once more, another very thin layer on this inner edge of this gasket. Uh, it's probably overkill, but you know, better safe than sorry. Now, before you grab your camshaft chain tensioner and put it back on though, you should clean any surface area that's gonna come into contact with RTV silicone. Something you also need to do is to remove this uh, metal cap that's for your camshaft position sensor. You hold on to your camshaft. There we go. Take this out, remove your seal. Grab yourself a new seal, dip your finger in some oil, put it on the inside of the seal and the outside of the seal. Now if you have this dried up uh, oil on the end of your camshaft, it's a good idea to clean that off. You can usually get away with uh, cleaning it with some uh, brake clean and uh, rags. But since this is out of the car and I can limit the area where I'm using this uh, steel wool, I'm gonna just use some steel wool. Then I get to rinse it off thoroughly and make sure none of this steel wool gets inside of our engine. Slide on our new camshaft seal. Put on this uh, camshaft sensor cap. It can only go on one way, and that's the only way <laughs> you should put this on. It goes without saying. And torque it down to factory spec. All right, next we'll bring everything over and set it down. Trying our best to put this uh, camshaft chain tensioner nice and even. Always easier said than done. All right, next we'll run down our bolts, little by little. All right, next we'll torque them down to the manufacturer's torque specification, which is seven foot-pounds. Actually, before we torque these down, it's a good idea to make sure the timing marks on the camshaft sprockets haven't moved. All righty, next we're gonna torque down our camshaft caps, and it's very important, not only you put the right cap in the right location, but you also put it in the correct way, because as you can see, you got this, uh, oil passageway that comes through here and then goes through this bolt hole, comes out there and then from here. That's how it lubricates these camshafts. But uh, you may not even be able to put this in the wrong way, but then you run the risk of damaging these dowel pins on here. And we're gonna torque these going from the center out as we talked about and also make sure you run this special tool for your camshaft chain tensioner all the way down so that you put in a, as much slack as possible so that this end, the camshaft chain is not pushing down on these camshafts so that you can actually put these in even. This one, two. All right, next we'll torque down the rest of them. Also at the cap that goes at the end here, we're gonna put some RTV silicone around the outer edges just to be on the safe side. Then we torque it down. Same thing goes for the exhaust camshaft caps. Next we'll put in our front camshaft seal. Once again, make sure you put some oil both on the inside and the outside of the seal. Then you line it up. And with the help of a large enough socket, you press this in, make sure it goes in all the way and even and flush. Now thinking back, I made a mistake with that rear camshaft seal. I should have just uh, removed that piece, then put the camshaft seal. So now, after we put this end cap in there, then I could have just reached in there with a socket, push it in, make sure it's uh, flat. And then at the end with the camshaft tool here, holding these in, I could have uh, tightened that bolt. But it's no biggie. Now we're simply gonna hold off on putting that rear camshaft cap uh, over there move on to the other side and then at the end 
once we put the camshaft tool back on here, we put in both caps on this end and that end. So now we'll remove our uh, chain tensioner tool from this side and move it onto the driver's side. Next, we'll remove our camshaft position sensor on this side and loosen our camshaft bolts going from the outside end. All right, after I loosen them by hand, now I'm just gonna remove them by my impact just to save time. So once again, we'll remove all our caps. On this side, our camshaft cap goes back there. Now this side may take some persuading because on this end, you get some of the cam loads pressing down on our hydraulic, hydraulic lifters, but they'll come out. All right, so as you can see on this side, we got the, both our camshaft seals up front where we got on one side our camshaft sensor and then our camshaft chain tensioner goes on the back and then that camshaft cap goes at the back end of this camshaft on this end. So you guessed it, we're gonna do some cleaning then we'll put everything back together, similar to the driver's side, but this time, on this side, we're gonna remember to only put in the seal and not put in this bolt. All right, so just finished up cleaning everything up. Install our half moon seal and our timing chain tensioner gasket. And now, we're gonna put in our camshafts. Being very gentle and careful. Now this side is slightly more trickier than the driver's side because as you can see, the cam lobes on this middle cylinder are pushing down on the lifters we got here. So we're not gonna put any bolts on our tensioner and put the caps on these first, move out, and then put those last. So again, you tighten these by hand and now we torque everything down. Now if I'm honest, I don't always torque everything down to manufacturer specifications, but camshaft caps are one of the items I always make sure to torque down to the proper torque. Now, as you can see, our camshafts have moved when we went to reinstall this. This uh, lip should be actually facing more this way so that when we put the special tool on, it's exactly facing the other camshaft. But that's not an issue because actually, by, since it moved, all the cam loads move off of the lifters. So none of the lifters are pushing against our valves. Therefore, none of the valves are uh, potentially hitting our pistons. So we have nothing to worry about. And when it's time to put everything back together, when I get the special tool on this side, we just put it on this we turn the camshafts and then put it on the other side and everything will be fine. So now we're gonna put in this cap that goes in the back over there with our camshaft plug that you can see here. So first, let's remove this. And then we're gonna thoroughly clean this and again, similar to the driver's side, we're gonna put some RTV silicone around the edges. All right, so basically like this, just some RTV around the, this lip and then some RTV around the edges as well. And now we simply put this back on and now we're gonna put this end cap that goes at the end of our camshafts here. And these are the areas I decided to put some RTV silicone. So basically just uh, all along the outer edges. I'm just gonna run these down gently and then torque them down. Next, we'll grab two new camshaft seals and make sure again, you put oil both on the inside and outside of these seals. And then we'll put them on by hand first and then use our socket to get them in the rest of the way. Nice. Same thing for this one. Oh yeah, don't forget to remove your camshaft tool. All right, so next, temporarily, we put this uh, camshaft caps back on both sides. We'll grab our timing tool, put it on this side, and then twist things around and put it on the driver's side. So again, make sure you line this up and put it in the correct way. And then I'm gonna put some uh, blue thread locker, just a dab on the bolt for it and then just tighten it down. Then we're gonna come over on this side. We're actually gonna remove it. Also remove our seal. Next, we'll grab the end cap for this side, put our cap back on, and also some RTV in all the right places. Get it back on the cylinder head. Then torque these down. Then we'll grab our seal for this side, press it in. However, in order to be able to use our socket to press in our uh, camshaft seal all the way, there's something else we need to remove first. Just this guy right here. It's also getting somewhat dirty and clogged up, so good time to clean all the inside of this. Now we can grab our socket, and now we should be able to push in our seal all the way. Now we put this nipple back on. Yep, I'm gonna call the nipple. Next we put our camshaft sensor back on, and the one on this side as well. Plug in our connector. All right, next we're gonna put in our uh, valve cover gasket and near the areas where you wanna put some RTV. You wanna put some RTV right here because that goes into that groove right there. And then you wanna put some RTV in all the areas that are not flat. So this corner right here, you get another one on that side, one on the bottom, and another one on this side. Next you wanna install your valve cover gasket. 
make sure it goes in nice and even, flat. It goes in the grooves, obviously. Next, we'll grab our valve cover and throw it on here. And next, we're gonna install these nuts. As always, going from the center out and the uh, torque spec for these is going to be uh, eight foot-pounds, if I remember correctly. And it's more or less the same thing for the passenger side. Once again, we took everything down. You remember this bracket? So next we'll put it back on. And another tip I can give you is if you ever forget where everything goes when putting the valve covers and all the different parts back on, there's this uh, Ratchets and Wrenches guy on YouTube which has step-by-step -step videos on how to do this exact thing. So yeah, you can go back and watch all his videos and learn how to do this exactly. But before we do that, I'm actually gonna troll this guy because he seems to me like a know-it-all. I'm gonna leave a nasty comment for him. Something very original. Hey, Red. Chits. You suck. Ha ha ha. I'll show him. That made me feel important. All right, and next comes our ignition coils. We'll put the connectors on them first. Next, if I remember correctly, we put this coolant hose back on here. And the same thing on this side. Oh yeah, don't forget to put the PCV hoses back on the valve covers. And the coolant hose on this side. Oh yeah, don't forget this side either. You guys have no idea how happy I am that I didn't break any of these. All right, next we'll put in these pipes. And as you may remember, there's only one 10 millimeter bolt holding these in. And the same thing on this side. All right, now it's time to put this hose back on that nipple that goes back there. And as you can see, I replaced the clamp that goes down here with one of these uh, screw on types. It's gonna be a lot easier. All right, next comes our coolant reservoir. We're gonna remember to reconnect this connector for the sensor that goes underneath it. And as you remember, there are three Phillips head screws that hold this in. Next, we'll reconnect this upper hose and this lower hose as well. And next, we're gonna install our white pipe, but first we're gonna actually push it into these uh, hoses first, then tighten it down. Actually, then we're gonna push these hoses onto these uh, pipes on the sides as well. There we go. And then we'll tighten down the three bolts that are holding it in. And of course, we tighten our clamps. Next, all we have to do is to put in our uh, filter box housing that goes right here. But as you can see, this filter is more or less all clogged up. So that's it for this video, but do me a favor and leave a comment down below and tell me whether you like these longer detailed videos, because for example, I could have wrapped everything up you know, all the removal and then the reinstallation in one video, but it would have to be a lot less detailed, but then it would just be one video and to you guys, it would seem like the job was done a lot faster. And actually in reality, it would be done a lot faster because I wouldn't have to edit all these videos. But anyway, that's how you replace all your camshaft seals and your camshaft chain tensioner gasket and your valve cover gasket on a 2.7 liter Audi, but the procedure for this video is uh, really similar to the 2.8 liters as well. Before you go, do me a huge favor and also check out my other videos. I'll put links to them on this side of the screen. There will also be links down below in the description box as well. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys soon.